666 here, and this is my Blood Slaughterer update. And as you can see there, that is the head of them. It does focus okay, this camera. It's a bit better than my last one. Um, and everything came all right when I bought it, except for the fact that I got three of these parts when I'm only supposed to get one. I got two of those, two of these... Uh, I believe I got two of these. I don't know where the other one... Oh, there it is. I got two of those. And it's missing one part where it actually should connect into this. these little slots here. There was supposed to be one of these shorter that had a ball on the end that would fit into here. Except when I bought it, it never really came with it. And we didn't realize that till we unpackaged it. Except I did look at one that was in the store, and what I can do is pretty much just cut out this little back section here, then glue that. Here you can see there is like a big indent for the head, and there's the multiple plating. This is just flash, flash, a lot of flash all over Forge World models. But this one's generally good. No mold lines, which I'm really surprised about. There's not really bad ones here. I actually haven't found really any mold lines on these guys just a lot of flash luckily like you can see down there that's just about it but that doesn't really even stick out this little triangle here I have to cut out and also came with four of these extra blades which are actually like really really cool blades they got like skulls in it and I don't know if it's supposed to be just like a chain sword or just purely spiky but the legs are cool because they actually are like chain swords they're actually supposed to like rotate and do that, except not really on the model, but game-wise, he's got his shoulder plates, everything, and I will hopefully be putting these into, well, building it soon. And please subscribe, and I'll keep you updated.